Hey Mustangs, in this video we're going to take a look at the four components of blood. So go ahead and grab your notebook and turn to page 172 and title it Four Components of Blood. Alright, now when people think of blood, they think it's one single thing. But blood is actually made out of many parts. There's four main parts, and then you have other things that you've taken in from the outside, from foods that you've eaten, chemicals, um, that, become a, that are transported around in your blood with other things. But the four things that make up blood itself is what we're going to take a look at here. So the first thing is plasma, okay? Uh, plasma is the fluid part of blood, okay? So blood is traveling along in tubes, your blood vessels, okay? So blood is the liquid floating in your blood, through your blood vessels. So the plasma is the liquid portion of the blood, okay? Um, this is what actually makes the blood flow through your blood vessels. Now, one analogy I like to connect this to and to help you think of how blood is flowing through the body is think of a water park, okay? Think of a tube water slide. If you try to go down that water slide without any water in it, you're probably going to get stuck several times along the way, okay? Because you're a solid um, piece and you're trying to go through this tube, uh, but there's no liquid to help push you along. And eventually you'll make it through down to the bottom, um, but it'll probably be, be pretty difficult, very difficult to actually get there, okay? Um, you add water and you fly down that tube, no problem. So that's what the plasma is like. Um, it's the liquid part of the blood and it's gonna help the blood and the things in it flow through the body very easily. The second thing is blood cells, um, red blood cells first. Um, there's two types of, of blood cells that we'll look at. So red blood cells, um, it's their job to carry oxygen, to literally physically carry oxygen through the body. So when you see these red blood cells, which we've all seen before, um, inside these red blood cells are molecules called hemoglobin, and they bind onto oxygen. And then these red blood cells are like delivery trucks going through your body. And as they go through and they pass by cells, they're delivering oxygen to the cells. Okay? Um, so that's the whole point of your red blood cells is actually to carry oxygen inside of them and deliver them to the cells. The third is white blood cells. And these guys help fight disease. Um, so we just finished up the immune system and we know that um, our body is going to create um, certain types of cells that hunt um, and destroy specific types of bacteria and viruses. So we're looking at our white blood cells here. And finally, the last component of blood is, uh, are the platelets. Okay? So platelets are what help form blood clots. Okay? Usually people hear blood clots and they think it's a bad thing. But blood clots are only bad if they're being made when they're not supposed to be. Okay. Whenever you get a cut and blood's coming out, that means you have a hole in your blood vessel. Okay. That's not good. Blood is never supposed to leave those blood vessels. So um, when this does happen, these platelets basically block the hole. So if you have a hole in a blood vessel, the platelets start sticking to the sides of the hole until eventually they cover it up and they start the process of a blood clot. So blood clots are actually good things. They prevent blood from continuously pouring out of cuts whenever a blood vessel breaks open. Um, so blood clots are actually a good thing when they're being made when they're supposed to. All right, so here's a picture here of uh, a tear in the blood vessel. Blood starts to leak out. The platelets start sticking to it to form the initial plug, and then that triggers a whole series of events that will form a blood clot. And usually the scab, which you see on the outside, um, is a part of that blood clot. All right, so um, what is the color of blood? Now, when we look at diagrams, scientific diagrams, we notice that we use red and blue. We use red for oxygen-rich blood and blue for oxygen-poor blood. However, blood is never, ever blue. Um, a lot of people think that because we use these colors that oxygen-poor blood um, is the color blue, and they look at their veins, too, and they think, oh, blue. Um, the reason it looks blue through here is the layers of tissues and the um, that are used to create not only the skin but also the blood vessels themselves. Um, when you have oxygen-rich blood, it is a brighter red. Oxygen-poor blood tends to be a darker red, but blood is never blue. That's actually um, a misconception. All right, um, taking a look at all four components that we just looked at, most of your blood, 55% of your blood, is the plasma. Um, less than 1% is your white blood cells and your platelets, and then 45% of your blood is the red blood cells. And that makes sense because if you think about it, 
you have to get oxygen to all 50 to 75 trillion of your cells. So in order for that to be possible, you need a lot of delivery trucks in order to do that. So red blood cells are like the delivery trucks taking that oxygen out to your cells. All right, red blood cells are made um, in the bone marrow. Okay, um, so white blood cells are made from cells within the bone marrow. Um, the red blood cells are made, same thing with platelets. So the three solid parts of blood, remember, because there's four, the liquid part, which is the plasma, and then the three solid parts, the white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets, um, the solid parts are made here in the bone marrow. All right, and then some interesting information. Um, students often ask this. And uh, if you take a look here, looking at blood types, okay, and we learned about this earlier in the year as well. Um, our um, O positive is the most common blood type, and then the least common blood type is AB negative. So if you take a look at all these here, this kind of tells you a little bit more information about the blood. All right, um, so that's it for the four components of blood. Uh, make sure you have all your notes complete, and uh, you're ready to go.